rescue unlike any the Covington Fire Department has ever faced after an elderly man trapped inside a grain bin cannot get out. Thankfully, it's something the department has been prepared for just in case. As WREG's Ashley Paul reports, what could have ended in disaster instead ends in celebration. A single soybean is small, but imagine being surrounded by thousands of them with no way out. Once you get there, it's hard to get out because there's no footing and it continues to move and you can't get you can't get out of it. You can't pull out of it. But Chief Richard Griggs says when they got the call just before four yesterday afternoon, the Covington Fire Department knew they had to act fast. What we do is uh, when once you have the individual inside, we take this auger and put in and use the drill to turn the auger to remove the item, the, the, the material from the inside of the tube so they can actually use the tube to pull themselves out. The Covington Fire Department has had this rescue tube since 2021, but it wasn't until yesterday that they actually had to use it. And they're so glad they had it because this story could have had a much different ending if they didn't. He was very fortunate that one of his farm hands uh, came to, to locate him and he couldn't locate him and then heard him, heard him screaming to, for help. It's not clear how the man got inside the bin, but two hours and three cuts through the silo later, he was freed. He may be upset with us for having to cut his crane bin, but he's able to talk. He's able to talk about it. The man went to the hospital to be checked out, but we're told he was released this morning. And Chief Griggs says even though the equipment has been untouched for years, yesterday's rescue made it all worthwhile. For your news leader in Tipton County, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3. We're glad to see that he made it out alive.